You may have heard about the female face shaving craze on the internet, or maybe even from that friend who's obsessed with getting rid of her peach fuzz. Sure, shaving gets rid of the hair on your face, but is it healthy and safe? Here's a look at what really happens when you shave your face. Is shaving dangerous? According to Dr. Sal Nadkarni, it depends on what you use and how you use it. He told us, you have to take precautions and use new blades, but I would not suggest using a regular razor. If you are using it for the purpose of getting rid of the hair and exfoliation, you are talking cuts galore. Those blades are extremely sharp. If you're worried about accidentally cutting yourself, though, Dr. Sheila Nazarian suggests having a professional shave your face for you. It's best to have it done by someone who is experienced, and combine it with a light peel afterwards for even more exfoliation. Both Dr. Nazarian and Dr. Sal believe it is best to use a device designed specifically for the purpose of female face shaving. Dara Levy, who created the Dermaflash for just that reason, explained, Men grow terminal hair, which is like a piece of copper wire. Women grow vellus hair, which is soft and delicate. Facial shaving for women with a razor designed for the tough skin and terminal hair on a man's skin is counterintuitive. Anthony Sosnick, founder of the Anthony line of skincare products, says cleansing and exfoliating the area before you shave will help prevent ingrown hairs and unwanted razor burn. He suggests shaving in the shower because the heat from the steam softens the hairs and helps the hairs stand up as much as 30%, so they will be easier to cut off. Use a non-foaming cream to give you a nice lather because more foam means more air, so the blade can't get as close to your skin as possible. In addition to removing the hair, shaving also exfoliates the skin. Dermatologist Dr. Christina Goldenberg defines exfoliation as the process of physically removing dead skin cells from the superficial layers of the skin. The skin is left feeling smooth and soft and appears more even. And she says exfoliation also helps make skincare products work better. Penetration of nutritional skincare products containing important ingredients such as vitamin C, antioxidants, glycolic acid, and other ingredients that are often present in moisturizers, toners, and face masks is improved. Of course, not every woman considers facial hair unsightly or wants to shave. For women who do want to shave, though, a common fear is that the hair will grow back thicker or fuller. But dermatologist Dr. Debbie Palmer told Fox News that this just ain't so. Yeah, there is a myth that if you shave your facial hair, it will grow back coarser or darker, but that is not true. Uh, so your hair will grow back mm -hmm. um, the same way that it was. One benefit of shaving is that it helps prepare your face for the application of makeup. Because shaving creates a smoother base for your products, they absorb more readily, and the condition of your skin will appear to be improved. Dr. Goldenberg recommends waiting an hour after shaving before applying makeup. Face shaving instantly smooths out the texture of the skin and allows makeup to go on a lot more evenly. Therefore, it is a great technique to use before an event to achieve glowing, radiant skin. As with any skincare treatment, you need to make sure you take care of your skin afterwards to get the most out of it and to avoid irritation or damage. According to Dr. Sal, you need to use moisturizer when you are done. Part of the reason why you have hair is that it is a body protector, so use sunscreen after you shave. Sosnick agrees that moisturizing is one of the most important steps post-shaving. He suggests choosing products with specific ingredients including aloe vera, chamomile, and allantonin. If your main skincare goal is to look younger, shaving may actually hurt more than help. According to Dr. Goldenberg, there isn't much evidence that it helps with anti-aging. Certainly, if its anti-aging claims were true, those of us that shave every day would look much younger than our actual age. Some suggest that shaving down actually stretches out collagen and elastic fibers, producing more jowling. Exfoliation is an integral part of a proper skincare routine, but if you are afraid to shave your face, don't worry, because shaving is certainly not the only way to exfoliate. Dr. Sal revealed, those tiny hairs should come off with regular exfoliation anyway. If you are hesitant about shaving, just exfoliate. Shaving is just another way to exfoliate. There isn't a major advantage to it if you just have those small little hairs that you can barely see. For women with thicker facial hair, there are also options such as laser removal and electrolysis, or just owning it and rocking a beard. Whatever you choose, remember, there's really no wrong way to love your face. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.